and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Azorius control. All right, so today what we're doing is we are playing some anti-Oko decks over in Mythic. Uh, we got three decks that we're playing. You see these three with the R over here. We got Selesnya Adventure going underneath it and going wide. Um, unfortunately, we played against a couple opponents that had a bunch of sweepers, and that's what Selesnya Adventure struggles with, but we did good against Oko. Um, we got um, against like the card Oko, that is. Um, we got uh, Azorius Control, where we're going to be trying to go bigger, and then we're going to be doing Sultai Midrange, where, you know, a Sultai Oko deck to try to win Oko Mirrors. So we'll have that there also. All right, so this deck here, though, um, I guess guess one other thing is I'm going to have the sideboard guides for all three of these decks tomorrow up on my Patreon page. Uh, there's a link down below, but it's just patreon.com slash ToddStevensMTG. I wanted to play the decks first and, you know, get get a good um, handle on them, and then I'll, I'll write sideboard guides for them over there. Um, so if you like if you like my content and and want to see like my blog posts and and uh, um, cyborg guides and stuff, that's where you can find them all over there. Okay, so this is Azorius Control. I'm not sure if I think that that uh, blue white control deck can be pretty good against the Yoko decks. I'm not really sure if I want to go more Azorius or want to go Esper. Esper, of course, you get the Planeswalker removal, like your Noxious Grasps and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm not I'm not sure exactly which one I like more. I kind of really like Azorius though. So I'm gonna play I'm gonna play Esper on Sunday. Uh, tomorrow, of course, we got the sub battle stream, and I guess I should have I should have that written up here. But we do a sub battle Saturday, um, the last Saturday of every month. There we go. So that's up over there for a reminder for y'all. Um, anyway, the reason why I like Azorius, uh, is because we have a good, clean mana base with a whole lot of basics, so we don't have to worry about a bunch of lands coming into play tapped, and, you know, how the three-color mana base right now is, is not so good. That's, that's the main thing, and <clears throat> it allows us to cast our spells easier. And then the other thing that, I, that we're playing in Azorius that we, we probably wouldn't play in Esper is Gadwick. Gadwick the Wizened. I, I really like Gadwick. I think Gadwick's a very strong card. It allows us to draw tons of cards. Um, it can even play some defense. It works really well with Time Wipe. Um, yeah, basically, I think Gadwick's really good. So I, I want to try playing Azorius here with a bunch of Gadwicks. Our, you know, so like that's that's a way to, for us to draw a lot of cards. Our main way that we're going to be winning is with Finale of Glory, making a bunch of two twos. Because we're playing three Finale of Glories, we don't have to like save our Finale of like, if we have a Finale of Glory in hand, we don't have to just, like, save it and wait forever and wait till we can go X is 10 to make a bunch of angels and everything, too, or, or wait till, like, our our Finale kills our opponent. We're probably going to be firing off Finales at, you know, like, X is 2, X is 3, X is 4, you know, playing it for, like, 4, 5, 6 mana, make a, a good amount of 2-2s that can trade with our opponent's creatures in combat and, and stuff like that or pressure their Planeswalkers because with having 3, we know that we're going to have other Finales later on in the game as well. Besides those, our deck is filled with tons and tons of counter magic. We're going to be playing Drago Control most of the time. Like those are our main things that we're going to be tapping out for. Sorry, throat's bothering me. Um, so yeah, we're going to be playing lots of, lots of instants, trying to counter lots of stuff, and uh, use Gadwick, Chemister's Insight, to pull ahead from our opponent. The best use of Finale of Glory, of course, is with Teferi casting at instant speed at end step. So we'll see if we get to do that. All right, well, let's get to some games. I think we should do that because this is going to be a long four games. We're gonna play four. We're gonna play four matches. We'll see how many times we play against Oko. I don't talk <clears throat> I don't I don't talk very much at all except for like during streaming and so like the these like 7 hours that I stream each day that I'm just that I'm talking a bunch during those um <clears throat> I don't know my my throat always starts bothering me whenever I talk a bunch here cuz I cuz like the rest of the day yeah I'm just kind of around the house doing different things and and everything I don't really talk very much
just ramping into mass manipulation. Haven't really tried that with Azorius, but I guess that's an option. I mean, I think that's that's a better plan for, for a deck with a lot more ramp spells. Yeah, the, the only counter spell for a turn two Oko on the play is Mystical Dispute. We have we have those in the sideboard. We don't have any of those in the main deck. <laughs> yep, all the angels are five mana. Over there. Let's see. I think there are some other questions. Uh, I'm not sure what the two cards under the done button were. Uh, does Terramander fit in this? Not really. Not really. Um, yeah, we'd rather just have, you know, counter mat. Like, we want, like, basically all of our cards to be interaction. We want, like, counter magic and everything. <clears throat> this hand does have, like, basically all of my win cons. And that's, you know, that's all it has. So it doesn't, we don't have interaction with this hand. So this may not have been a very good hand to keep in that respect. It kind of looks like the Tranquil Cove and this island like go together there. I don't love using the Prison Realm on Questing Beast. <clears throat> I kind of prefer to use it on a Planeswalker whenever we have, like, time wipes, but... We have a Veto, so hoping... All right, well, no Nissa. That's good. All right, so they've kept a handful of Acceleration. Not really any payoff. It's good for me. <clears throat> Queen of Ice. I don't. That's. Yeah, that, that's like that's the common in Throne of Eldraine. I, I don't think that card is strong enough for standard. I think they can, the adventure creature, they can tap something. I don't think that card's strong enough for standard. Um, so I'm gonna play to fairy. Let's go play Gadwick. Let draw a couple of cards here. There's nothing I want to bounce over there with. Um, to fairy, I, I may just bounce my Gadwick. We'll kind of see. That's not bad. Ramping with Finale of Glory is nice. <clears throat> not, this questing beast isn't going to kill us. I can... I guess I can... You know, so I can bounce... And then capture, I suppose. This isn't a fight you can win. Here we go. Putting a counter on Gadwick isn't very important. And we're probably going to be bouncing it. I've got it. 
guess if there's another questing beast, I can just block it. I got to back up. <clears throat> the next BNR is November 18th. Yeah, Gadwick's good. So I can make six tokens. Prison Realming, um... Dang it. Let's try this. Prison Realming... <clears throat> that thing, um... Hydro Crisis is awesome when we have Teferis that we can just put the, the Prison Realm back into our hand with Teferi. Yeah, as for told, probably has some cool stuff to do in Pioneer. Yep. All right, so this is the tough part. Exactly how we want to mulligan. This is, or sorry, how we want to sideboard. So I wanted to to play this deck a little bit before making a sideboard guy because we have a lot of cards that are definitely reasonable. You know, like Prison Realm's good. Like in the other Prison Realm in here, all these Ether Gusts. This is definitely the matchup for Tails End. And then, you know, Mystical Disputes can stop turn two Oko, which it looks like that's what they're trying to do with having Grazer. But that's way too many cards. Um, Quench, Quench comes out. That's an easy one to come out. And Essence Capture as well. So those those get just, like, those get replaced by Ether Gust. Um, I think I'm going to take out one Gadwick. You know, if I like doing that, one to ferry. Maybe I just take out ops. I think we need insight. Like, I think we need, like, the raw cards and everything. Maybe we can just take out Ops because it's not raw cards. Let's get the Teferi back in there. Teferi gets to do a lot of stuff. and Yeah, that's a good point. Teferi pr protects from Vale of Summer too. Narset is just really vulnerable. Yes, Narset stops them from drawing cards with Krasis, but we got Tails Ends. I got I got the two tails end that can honestly like tails end is a card that I wanted to to try here, but honestly, uh, maybe just playing more tails ends than just two in this deck moving forward because this just counters like so, you know all the planeswalkers and it keeps Krasis from drawing lots of cards and then you know, like a lot of their um. A lot of their creatures are legendary. Yeah, R rule of law does work really well with counter magic. Um,
All right, because of Veil of Summer, I'm going to use Ether Gust. Even though this means that Mystical Dispute may not actually counter it anymore. Hmm. Key Muriel. Thanks, Key. I appreciate that. Oh, it looks like I'm behind on the sub count. That's sub number five on the day. Yay. Haven't been playing lands. We know they're drawing Veil of Summer. I can I can go to Fairy. Basically, I kind of want to time wipe here, but then if they have another Oko, that's a problem. I guess I just to Fairy. Sorry, I'm late. Here goes nothing. Might be a bad idea. Might as well not let them play get another food. It's like if I I could do that instant speed, but if I do that, they can just activate the goose, get a food. We will meet again. Letting this happen means we get to castle here. Look for Gadwick. I guess I just keep these. It's hard for them to cast something and Veil of Summer when they have Swamp Swamp Island. Over there. Hey, good brother. I'm having an awesome day. Hope everybody else is too. Gonna be going grocery shopping tomorrow. I'm excited about that. I guess I put this down to the bottom with us already having one. Are they going to trophy this prison realm? Tr 
trophy castle. That is somebody that... Somebody that has a card burning a hole in their pocket. Alright, honestly, those cards are both pretty good, but we don't really need them. I'm gonna look for card draw. We gotta have some kind of card draw in here, right? You know, like a Chemist's Insight or Gadwick. <clears throat> Yeah, an island draw. Thanks, Agrother. a good amount of like those are like good cards down at the bottom that I put down there right on schedule don't worry I got this oh I didn't castle there whoops all right, what else we got? I've got time. All right, so if we shuffle, we're putting, you know, we're shuffling all these cards back, which are not necessarily bad cards, but they're not. Um. This thing back. I want. I kind of want to be able to counter Crisis Trigger here. Finale. Wait, so I'm at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm at eleven right now. Here, I'll just keep those both on top. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. All right, get rid of that thing. And GG. We got finale for 10. Put 50 power in play. Instant speed, they can't interact with it. There's 60 power? 60 power in play. My bad, 60 power in play. Go from 20 to negative 40. <clears throat> so that worked out pretty well. Uh, you want good best of one ranked decks? 
Um, I have a playlist of best of one decks, and the last few that we that we played, we played over in ranked. So this is from the YouTube channel. This is a, a I think that's the playlist right there. Of best of one decks, maybe something there, you know, looks intriguing to to you. Yeah, Selesnya Adventure I think would be a good best of one deck also. Which is better, Finale of Glory or March of the Multitudes? It depends. Like a deck like this, you would not want to play March of the Multitudes at all. It's it's not powerful enough. Um, but a deck like the last one that we played that had tons, like when you have tons of creatures that you can, can convoke, then March of the Multitudes is more powerful. Yeah, if you like Selesnya, that's a good, that's a really good best of one deck. Dissolve or Dissipate? What, yeah, Scry or Exile? I mean, well, I mean, the Surveil is better than Scry. Is this Cast or Enter? That's Cast. Innkeeper is definitely a problem. Yeah, I know. So what I'm saying is the one, Sinister Sabotage is better than Dissolve. If Dissolve says Scry one, Sinister Sabotage is Surveil one, that's better. And they still just draw the card anyway. I probably just don't need to counter stuff and just set up for time wipe, but probably should just let that resolve. Thing is, Quench gets really bad later on in the game, though. Do need a fifth land, which is why I put that on the bottom. I was kind of planning on doing playing Gadwick here. I was kind of planning on playing Gadwick here, and then you know drawing a card and then bouncing it with Time Wipe. Putting it back into my hand, but obviously I'm not going to with Wrinkle on the battlefield anymore. If they say discard a card again, we get to discard this Quench. I am I am happy trading with these cards. Like you know, like my Veto just countered that Murderous Rider. I'm happy with that Quench. Eh, just countered a Forest. I'm not too happy about that one. So down to two cards. Please no no innkeepers. No way to reanimate innkeeper. No, stop looking at the graveyard. I 
All right, so we'll Prison Realm, the Innkeeper. I mean, I could just Time Wipe again, but then they could just reanimate Innkeeper again. I think we have to Prison Realm that thing. Yeah, we got to Prison Realm this thing. See what they got. More raised eds. I am gonna love tearing this place to the ground. So yeah, having the two Gadwicks in my hand, I guess I should have maybe just discarded those earlier. All right, we need exile. Um, Narset does a good job of keeping them from drawing lots of cards. I don't know if I really want Ether Gust, honestly. Decree doesn't really exile the right things, I guess, though. Hmm. I think I probably just want all the vetoes. Yeah, I mean, Gusta is good against Innkeeper, I guess, or like at least helps reset Innkeeper. Innkeeper, I think I, think I want the Narset plan there instead. Um, I think we need the vetoes because, like, we we want to be ca countering the adventure creatures, like when they do the adventure stuff, and you know, find finality. I'm worried about all the raised duds. This hand's kind of gross. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably find some other untapped lands. Hopefully. I wish Devout Degree hit Innkeeper. Yeah, 
Innkeeper is like Beast Whisperer, just one man instead of four. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm really glad they're just throwing an innkeeper out there and not getting any card advantage from it. That's very good for me. I'm mysterious, refined. A mind is a terrific thing to waste. I have some fine print to obfuscate. My Selesnya is my favorite guild. I guess I should have played Fabled Passage and cracked it before doing Devout De Decree Scry. Because then if I just crack this, then Scry just didn't matter. So yes, I'm telling my opponent I don't have a, a counter spell by casting that main phase, but I think that hitting land drops is really important. Yeah, I think it's it's also it's very likely they have murderous rider. Very likely they had murderous rider. I know my responsibility. I'll protect you. Oh, I'm sorry, Flicker Docs. Why no minus? Because this. Questing Beast isn't going to be killing Teferi anyway. I don't really want to use a counter spell on a Questing Beast when I have time wipe in hand. Oh, stop quick. being. I'm bored. Empty your mind. Stop being like that. Stop being unreasonable. Davriel. Stop that. Now. Ugh, what a whiner. No, I am not making this up as I go. Uh, Davriel hurt. I don't think you'll be needing that. That really hurt. Play a wrinkle. To have one or fewer cards. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will survive you. Hey, Rogobop. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> eh, not really. Here goes nothing. All right, so we'll discard the land to Chemistry's Insight to draw a couple. I 
guess I could have incited right there and seen if we drew Tail's End to uh, counter this ability, but Tail's End is probably just countering I'm not sure you can creature they get. I don't, yeah, I don't really want Planar Cleansing in my Prison Realm deck. And yeah, of course, it doesn't doesn't work too well against Nissa either. I basically don't think it's necessary. Perish the thought. I don't like my option, so I don't like to fairy bounce to essence capture because then that turns on Vela Summer. I could I guess I just I guess I'm gonna just Gadwick and just block with Gadwick. No land. Here we go. I could have bounced Gadwick also, but then, you know, then we're taking like another four there, which can <clears throat> can be difficult for us to deal with. Kind of seems like they don't have good cards, which is kind of surprising. I feel like all their cards are probably good. Maybe they just have lands of Veil Summers. Yeah, they, they used Find Finality to kill us the first game. Yeah, they have that in their deck. Where are you at, Land Drop? Don't worry, I got this. Good. That was a good Land Drop, too. Yeah, Zorius control. And... Cement zero. This might be a bad idea. No land drop. But two really good counter spells. So I think we got this game locked up. I, I will be surprised if we win game three against the deck with triple Davriel. Not expecting to win game three. Trust me, I have a plan. But to be fair, we're trying to beat Oko decks, not Innkeeper with millions of Davriel. This is this Golgari deck is a very good. Um, it's a very good anti-control deck. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, like why do we need all these Davriels? And they're Trying to beat the Teferi deck. 
I've got it. How much do you think duress is relevant in the sideboard with four thought erasure main deck? It's not super relevant. Sure. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Are we attacking? You have to attack. Teferi's bouncing. Um, yeah, I don't, don't necessarily need a lot of duress. Block that thing. No trample damage getting through. Alright, just made sure that we got a land drop. That's more like it. <clears throat> Arena, why do you get so laggy? I must go. Oh yeah, that's true. I could just click the seven. Good call. I can just you can click you can click this number here to have all of them block or attack. Rag for life. Thanks for that tier one sub. I appreciate that. Yeah, Dragon, you can. Yep, you're good. All right, six sub of the day. All right, game three. This is going to be the tough one. So they have millions of Davriels, which makes me want to play Devout Decree more. Also, Tail's End. So they have Davriel, Nyssa, uh, Vivian, Questing Beast, Rankle. Tail's End kind of counters everything. We're getting pretty close to a 12 hour stream. I think just, I think we're, we just need three sub goals total. It's like this one and two others. I think that's where we're at. I think we're at 17 out of 20. So we're getting close there. Maybe not these Narsets on the draw. That seems pretty slow. Maybe Gust slow down Innkeeper on the draw. Looks extra Decree. All right, let's give this a try. Yep, tomorrow's the sub battle stream. Sub battle Saturday is tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, Pretorius. Yeah, we went with the Azorius outfit today for our Azorius control deck here. Uh, these cards are good. My mana base is not good. Ugh. But we're on the draw and we got 26 lands. We can draw land. It's not too difficult to draw land. Yay. Now we can counter a Davriel. I don't like seeing Lebronsodon. Did not have a counter for that. Yeah, we do not have a counter for Lebronsodon. I guess that Dino's going to dunk all over us.
if I had a land drop here, I would be willing just to pass and, you know, work towards our chemist, you know, like chemistry's inside and um, work towards the time wipe, but we don't have a land drop. That's speaking of not land drops. You know, our, our life total is being heavily threatened here. I feel like I need to block this questing beast. If I just take six and go down to two, and then even if I time wipe the next turn, they have a lot of haste creatures. Well, I had, I had to give it a, a try. That miss land drop really hurt me. Because with that miss land drop meant I had to cast the prison realm, which means that then I couldn't counter the questing beast. Yeah, miss land drop really hurt. I expect that we're going to be dying here very shortly. With all the cards they just drew last turn. I'd be very surprised if we untap. One and one. Couldn't quite hit our land drops. I was confident that we would whenever I kept the two lander on the draw, but we did not. Okay, one and one. I think that's a tough matchup for us, though, like I said before. They have a lot of good anti-control cards. Uh, just like yesterday is when you started getting XP for dailies. This is Vampire Weekend. Harmony Hall is the name of the song. Good old quad at tap land. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was a, a big update of, uh, you know, adding brawl, banning field of the dead. Uh, you know, they changed they changed a couple how a few other things worked and, um, you know, added on some new card styles and stuff like that. Really taking forever to find matches with the Brawl event today. I wouldn't guess that. You find red green really okay against Oko? I wouldn't expect that.
I mean, red green can can have like just some really explosive games, especially with like Ember Cleave. But that's the kind of deck that I've always liked playing against with Oko, a deck playing more expensive creatures, even if they have haste. So I, did, I didn't crack Fable Passage because I want to draw a land. This looks like a, a matchup where Prison Realm and Time Wipe probably won't matter. I gu I'm guessing this is... Um, uh, what's it called? Wilderness Reclamation. So I could I could try playing Teferi. Scry to the top. Alright, I'm gonna be playing Teferi here. If they like that that card on top. Kind of expect it to be like counter magic. I'm gonna try getting Teferi in play here. They may just have insight here. I feel like if they have counter spell, they're just countering this Teferi. I feel like that's very easy. I guess they're maybe figuring out which one to use. Um... Question is, so far, in your opinion, what's the best deck against Oko? I was really impressed by this Lesney Adventures, even though we we only went two and two against Oko. But the the two losses were were because we saw millions of Massacre Girls. But I was honestly really impressed with that deck. It was it was better than I thought it was going to be. Um, and then. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if going this route or going Esper is better against Oko. That's why we're we're trying them out. You know, like we're playing this one today, and then um, I'm gonna play Esper on Sunday. Hey, nothing wrong with that, Simon. So they did have Counterspell for Teferi. I am not going to sit this one out. Hmm. I could definitely see them playing I've got time. like flame sweep, having like a flame sweep in hand. I 
So yeah, I could have just bounced the borrower and held up absorb, but, but then like you know, like a shock kills to fairy and they bring the borrower back. Well, Reclamation doesn't do a whole lot, you know, with Teferi on the battlefield. I kind of, I kind of like just ticking up with Teferi and keeping it at five loyalty. Yeah, not playing Rule of Law. Um, the Rule of Laws were pretty good whenever we played, like, the, the Rule of Law deck. They weren't bad, but uh, just having more interaction and everything instead. I'd assume they'd have, like, a Niv, -Niv Mizzet or two in the main deck. I don't think Niv's only, only sideboard. Excellent timing. Yeah, I, I do not no, want yeah, not shock or, or explosion. I don't I don't want those things killing Teferi. Another move. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I won't let you win. Well, the Niv plus shock hurt. That this hurts. Is hardly my worst defeat. That's unfortunate. Uh, how do Reclamation decks beat Oko? I, I don't know. I've, I've never really seen rec these Reclamation decks win. Like, it looks like they'll get, like, this game one off of me, but... Um... This doesn't look like a very good deck, Team or Reclamation. I wouldn't really recommend anybody play it. That doesn't mean that I'm going to win this match, of course. It's never... Never that simple. Okay, so we're going to get these Narsets, Veto, Dispute, Tails End, Realm. What do you think about Ether Gust? I conceded because I lost the match, or I lost the game. I had no chance of beating Niv there. I was gonna with them having seven cards in hand. 
And they have any spells, which they certainly do. They have seven cards. They just play them, draw more cards, do more damage, all that kind of stuff. I'm glad we did not show my opponent Finale of Glory this last this last game. Yeah, I mean, I could decree instead of time wipe, I guess. They're going to have Chandra. I'm not sure what I, what I want to do with Ether Gust. Let's get this up back in here. Let's go with this. You liked Greta Van Fleet by their old name, Led Zeppelin. You liked that. You liked Greta Van Fleet better those days. We could keep our opponent untapping from untapping their lands with Wilderness Reclamation. Something we could do here. I like mid-range the most out of aggro, mid-range, and control. I like playing against aggro the most. The Yellow Summer card's really good. Well, hopefully they don't just have Reclamation in their hand again immediately like they did last time. Hopefully not. Hooray. Yeah, that was a pretty clutch. Veil of Summer. I kind of need to find something for Niv Mizzet. So the problem with just like getting more counters in hand is that. They could just drop a Niv Mizzet at any point, and then I, if I don't have removal. I would like to have that card. It's a very good card. Niv, Niv Mizzet is uncounterable.
Okay, so I think that we have to keep Prison Realm to have something for Niv Mizzet. But it kind of hurts putting that Sinister Sabotage away. My opponent has way too many cards for me to try to one for one. Vito's good. Gonna have to go to discard here. They have way too many cards in hand. I was pretty aggressive using insight there to. So they have nine cards. They just have to discard two. Like they just drew so many. That was kind of unnecessary. Of course we. Of course I don't know their hand, but there's two narsets in here. Probably game. Um, so three for Prison Realm. Yeah, we need another land. Like, if they have. Negate plus. If they have negate plus Veil of Summer, this is going to be really rough. Niv Mizzet is just really good against the against my deck, against the Drago, Blue Eye Control. Wow. They did not fight over that at all. That's awesome for me. They didn't try to counter that. Not the other way. Insight. That's a really good card. It's a little late. But this is why my opponent is so far ahead, because they had... Uh, they, they already have infinite mana. 
they had two insights. So they have so many more cards. Two of them. Two G's. Womp womp. I'm still pretty surprised they didn't fight over the... Like, so obviously their hand was just, you know, filled with counters and everything. I'm surprised they didn't fight over the Niv-Mizzet. I, I would have been dead immediately if they would have fought over Niv-Mizzet, but at least we... Had like another two turns there. Yep, GG's. That deck is built to beat my deck, that's for sure. So I guess we found we found the deck that Wilderness Reclamation, the team of reclamation beats. the blue-white control deck. All right, Gruel. Hopefully we can draw this fourth land so we can start Chemistry's Inciting. Land. Yay. No land. Well, absorb would basically be a fog as well with that three life.
Keeps me from inciting. They're not going to have too many tails and, and targets. So it's, I was hoping that they were going to hold that and play something else that we could have like tails end plus something else. But, you know, like for this, you know, I was hoping they were going to wait a turn on Questing Beast. Oh, I guess I could have still. Had that for another turn. So they got one card left. Hopefully their last card's not removal for Gadwick. We can have Gadwick be removal also by casting like inside on their turn. good that's pretty good okay bringing all these two mana spells let's cut the tails end cut the vetoes um, could cut to fairy, honestly. All their creatures have haste. The best thing to fairy does is, you know, allows, you know, it stops them from casting Veil of Summer. They got those, but then it allows me to instant speed finale of glory. I think I'm going to cut them, though. <clears throat> All right, so that gets us to 62. Cutting two quench. Maybe I'll play one Teferi over a quench. No, I'll play the quench. Okay. <laughs> you just want a, a counter spell named Nope. Yeah, I guess I guess Teferi stops flashed in Embercleave, but I would I would be pretty shocked if they have Embercleave in their deck here. It doesn't. It's not a card that they should have in their deck right now. Like that, um, it's you know it's it's a threat that you need another threat already hit doing doing damage. Um, it should be like the first card sideboarded out if it's in their deck. Well, opponent's hand looks pretty good against mine right now. This Pelt Collector card is quite strong. I'm basically already dead. Really good curve from our opponent here. I don't think it gets any better than that.
What did I have on top? Bunch of nothing. Okay, one and three with our deck, not not ideal. I wish we would have faced more Oko. Unfortunately, we kind of played control killers. Well, the I understand your your question, Debo. Anyway, oh King J, I'm so I'm so sorry, King J. Thanks for that resub there. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much there. That's our seventh sub of the day. Um so yeah, like the we had we had a couple of tough matchups there. Decks that, that are really good against control with um, the, the team or reclamation. That's going to be pretty tough. They have just as many counters as we do. Then they have Niv Mizzet that's uncounterable. And, um, you know, they have more they have more card draw. So they have Insights and uh, Grow Spiral. They can do a whole lot more mana with the reclamation. And then, of course, they have, to top it all off, they have Veil of Summer. Veil of Summer was, was just backbreaking in that matchup. So that's, that's really tough. And then like the, the Golgari deck <clears throat> had three Davriel in the sideboard. They brought in there, but then all of the, the fine finalities and, and the creature that raised that brings stuff back. So like, even after we time wipe, they just keep bringing stuff back. And then of course, one mana for innkeeper. We can't, we can't counter a one mana innkeeper. That card's a nightmare. Those are two very good anti-control decks. Not surprised we lost either of those. Gruel, Gruel we have a better chance against. It didn't really look like it, like with those games. Um, but the last time we played this, we did we did fine against Gruel. Um, the two hands my opponent had, like those, both of their hands were just spectacular. And, and Gruel, like when they have, like, like if they curve out, perfectly like they that's a really tough deck to beat for anybody even the yoko decks really struggle with um gruel when they curve out if you you know go back look at like those games like it was just it was just awesome um like they yeah they had everything they needed so that that happens when you're a control deck you're kind of at the whims of your opponents at times uh, if your opponents have the cards they need they're going to beat you that's how it is as control decks uh, no, I, I don't think Reclamation is back. You just play against it every couple weeks. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Team Reclamation is any good. Um, so yeah, anyway, our deck is, our deck's still, still pretty fine, I think. Uh, like I said, I think the, the first two, like the, those other two matchups are, are going to be pretty rough for us. Um, but I don't, I don't expect to see, you know, like reclamation very much at all. So not too worried about that matchup. Um, the Golgari one, it was, it was close though. Like the three games were, were pretty close, but you know, they, they have a lot of good anti-control stuff in there, especially playing three Davriel on the sideboard. Um, but yeah, I wish, what did we play against the first round? What, what did we beat the first match? I don't remember now. It was it was Oko, right? Didn't we beat Oko the first match? I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, yeah, pretty sure we, we beat an Oko deck there that first match. <clears throat> yeah, we did with, with yeah. Um so anyway, that's that's Azorius control. So good against Oko, that's about it. Well, I think we're we're very good against like the the red decks, or like like the you know people. There's still people like people playing like the red black sacrifice, uh, mono red 
I think I'm not sure about exactly just mono red, but like the red black sacrifice, I think we're real good there. Um, but yeah, there's there's not too much in the meta game right now. Uh, you know, if people are playing the Selesny Adventures, I think this deck's gonna be pretty good against them. It's gonna be all about time wipe, if you if you draw a time wipe or not, kind of thing. Um, the meta game is not very wide open right now. It it is just basically a whole lot of Oko decks. Like I, I mean, Oko decks are probably what's up, Heretic Man. You know, they're probably what like. 40, 50 percent of the metagame right now. With Selesnya, all we did was play against Oko. So we played we've played five Oko in eight matches. So being good against Oko is, is really where you want to be. Now, is Azorius Control is this Azorius Control the very best control deck to be playing against Oko? I'm I'm not sure about the answer to that question. So on Sunday. You know, tomorrow we got the sub battle stream. On Sunday we're gonna play Esper Control, where we're gonna try control without Gadwick and with Noxious Grasps and you know Murderous uh, Rider and you know Black Removal there also. So we'll we'll see how Esper Control does whenever we play that on Sunday there. <laughs> Anyway, uh, that's Azorius Control, though. Um, so we'll go ahead and get out of here. Uh, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, I hope you hit the like button over there and also leave some comments. I would, I'd appreciate both of those. And also, I hope you check out the Patreon page. I really hope you sign up for that. It's $3 a month. Not very much. Um, and then you get my written content over there and sideboard guides as well. Um, as we talked about at the beginning of the video, I'll be making sideboard guides for these three decks that we're playing today. I'll be doing those tomorrow, and I'll be doing some grocery shopping. That's what I'm going to be doing before our sub battle stream tomorrow. Um, and I'll be over there on Patreon. So if you uh, enjoy my content, please uh, support over with Patreon. All right, that's it here for Azorius Control. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.